close that. What is going on here? to repent it is a first person horror game and we're gonna try it out fov we want a bit more of that two K a back it up sound turn it down just a little bit Gameplay sensitivity bump it up just a little. All right, repent. New game. Yes. We have never played, so why not? Before we start, there are a few things you must consider while playing. Diary entries will appear in the middle of the right side as you play. Insanity indicator will appear over at the right during certain events. You must hurry and complete the event before the timer runs out. You can save the game and progress to the next day by interacting with the book in the lobby. Look for the big yellow icon. There's no automatic saving. So make sure you save your game regularly. Book in the lobby to save. It's a cold and dark night in the city and your shift starts soon. It's your first day, the first day of many, you think to yourself. But enough of that. Thinking does, does you no good. Chin up, officer. It can't be that bad, right? So we are a security guy. From a cop. And we are tasked with this spot. Garbage. I don't have garbage. Okay. Just start the game here. Get into the building. Colony Tower. With the Resident Evil style opening doors, loading screens. Nice. Diary. On arrival. This must be the place that gigantic sign out. On the entrance is a dead giveaway. Can't say I'm looking forward to the late hours, but what can you do? Let's get out of this damn rain. I was told that someone would be waiting for me at the front desk, if I remember correctly. Is that a note over the desk? I should check it out. Yes, it is. There's still things to do. This is how we say pretty much. Welcome to the night shift partner. Sorry for not welcoming you personally. I had some last minute stuff I had to look into. Anyways, you'll find a small list of tasks over at the service room in the back. That should get you started. Good luck. Remember, being nice to the tenants is a big part of the job. Yours sincerely, Travis Cottleman. P.S. Please be mindful of the elevator doors. If left open, the elevator alarm will go off, waking up everybody in the building. Please make sure to close them after getting off the elevator. Hey. There's someone there. He doesn't look like a front desk person. There's no one on the other side. But you already knew that. <laughs> we can ring the bell. See if anyone shows up. What you gotta say, buddy? Good evening, sir. His name is Scott McDougal. He says nothing. Good evening. Can I help you with something? All right, let me uh, make this not full screen. So I can actually read the dialogue choices. There we go. 
Should be able to read them now. Phone's ringing. All right, let's go answer the phone. Even though this shouldn't be our job. Who would call the reception so late after a brief hello? A loud and decrepit voice is heard from the old speaker. Hello, Travis, can you hear me? Startled by the volume, you physically recoiled away from the tube just as you come back close again. The voice resumes. Travis is whiskers. He's gone again. That damn cat keeps leaving the apartment as if he owns the place. Could you please fetch him for me, honey? I appreciate it. A cat? Excuse me, ma'am. Who is this? Also, Travis is on the daytime shift. It's Robert at the phone speaking. Just as you're done talking, a click sound is heard and the silence of the lobby sweeps back in. Who is that lady? Maybe I have to check the building for that cat. I should avoid getting any compliments on my first day. Or complaints on my first day. Alright, we got today's task. Okay, we gotta sweep the lobby, lock the roof door, and throw out garbage. Okay. We actually have a body, too. Interesting. Mutual broadcasting system presents the first of a series. Okay. Creepy radio. How do you drop X to drop item? Okay. So, uh, let's take out the garbage. You have to go outside to do that. Repent. Repent this garbage. Get rid of it. Happiness comes from the simple things in life. A task well done. Uh, now we need to lock the roof door and sweep the lobby. First, let's sweep the lobby. Gotta go back in. So far, so good. Sweep her up. Need to get the broom. Oh, yeah. It's in here. There it is. The sweeper. Up. Time passes slow this. You claim it entirely. That's done. X. Now we need to lock the roof door. Uh, let's go upstairs. Uh, daily task. All right, I already did that. Looking for cat. She didn't give me much of a lead to begin my search, did she? I guess I'll start with the first floor and work my way up to up the building. If it can't be that hard to find a cat, right? And then we had day two stuff. So we're missing two things to happen on day one. Zero. Floor one. All right. Something's happening. Oh, shit. Taki. Close that. What is going on here? We got less than a minute to do this. Hey there, kitty. Please. I need your help. You must stop him. I don't have much time. I can't control him anymore. It's my fault. Please don't leave me alone. Something happened with the cat. 
Oh. Oh, great. The timer's done. I, w what was all that? I, I must be tired. I should get back to work. I'm sure that cabin finds way back home by itself. Missing. Time has not been kind to this poster. Hmm. Okay. Knock. Nobody's home. Let's open it. Oh, we can't. It's locked anyway. Locked. Alright, we're done with this floor. We need to... Oh, wait. That's more task. Change the light. First floor. Lock the roof. Alright, we gotta go to the service room. What the heck is going on in there? Kind of prayer. Hey, lady. You didn't see us acting up, did you? Hello there, I didn't see you when I walked through the door through here a minute ago. Oh my, good evening, sir. An unfamiliar face in the colony tower. How strange. And quite spooked looking as well. Are you alright, good sir? Oh, uh, apologies. Uh, tell her what I have. Well, you see, I got a phone call by this elderly woman. Hmm, Whiskers is Mrs. Merrily's cat. It's not the first time it leaves Mrs. Merrily's house apartment. That cat has quite the reputation in the building, let me tell you. It's quite a story. Sounds to me that you need some proper sleep. These late hours wear you down. That must be sounding crazy right now, huh? You're right. I'm probably missing some sleep. That's all. Oh, where are my manners? I got carried away and forgot to introduce myself. I'm Robert Watford. The new night shift guard. Maya Brooks. You can call me Maya, Mr. Watford. Welcome to the Colony Tower. Nice to meet you, Maya. Um, book. What's that book about, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, this is really a detective novel. Happy to get it cheap, get it cheap at a thrift store. I've been reading a lot lately, you know. Helps me sleep. Keeps my mind busy so I don't think about him so much. But since this is a sensitive topic somehow, maybe I shouldn't ask further about it. Let's learn more. You don't mind me asking, Maya, who are you referring to? Okay, she's starting to cry. I can't really talk about it yet. Uh, of course, I apologize for asking. It's none of my business. I'm really sorry. Freaking idiot. Well, maybe you need someone to talk to. I don't know. What floor are we on? Zero. Yep, it was zero. And we needed some lights, right? There we go. Oh, damn it. Freaking elevator. Wrong floor. I want to go to a one. I want to go to one. That's what a roof is, most likely. They wouldn't let me go there the first time. Sorry. Okay. That one's replaced. Still creepy, though. Completely shattered fell in a very unnatural way. Why don't you just pick it up? Alright. Hallway, back in order. Let's knock. 
Nobody's on. Yeah, right. I hear all kind of chanting and going on in there. Okay, that's done. Now this just goes to the roof. Okay. Sorry, Maya. You know, I had to press. Could be the difference between life and death. You never know. Maybe us talking about it. Opened her up a little. Uh -huh. Freaking dark up here, man. What kind of hotel is this? This is the door, right? Job is done. Now we can get to the next day. Day one complete for the most part. <laughs> Bitch. Stop messing around. day is available we're gonna save it up here oh shit. I always forget about that stupid elevator first day is over I wonder if I can handle the late hours let's head over to our apartment to get some rest and prepare for tomorrow's shift it's already a new day we missed an event second night huh Time sure flies. Can't say I'm getting used to it. The work hours are pretty harsh. And what happened yesterday didn't help either. Guess I'll start with the daily task. Get it from there. Take it from there. One step at a time, Rob. One step at a time. Seems like Rob is already feeling the toll of this job. I would have been out after that first incident with that girl. The freaking ghost. But this has been day one of repent and we shall get back to this at another point so far so good i like it it has some creepy vibes there's a bit of a story going um there's some tenants that we probably follow from each day and then things probably get progressively worse we met my upstairs this guy here and apparently there's a new guy over there but we'll we'll see interesting stuff 